Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today, as you well you can see actually, I've moved bases away from the village. It's not too far away. Um, and you'll may have noticed I also found some bamboo, so I made some uh, scaffolding. But first of all, we're going to go and visit the, um, the battle tower again. And I'll see how that mob spawner is doing. So let's get on with that, shall we? Oh. We got a, we got one of those travelling traders in it. Don't ask me why. They don't seem to despawn for some reason or other. But of course we've got glowstone here, so we don't need to go to the Nether. And in fact, I've actually raided a couple more uh, towers in order to get the glowstone from there because it's at the bottom level and there's no danger at the bottom level. So let's go up here. See, I've cleared this layer layer out, and here we have the the mob spawner. Sort of grind a bit. It's actually very simple. Um, <clears throat> all it is is some some hoppers down here feeding this chest the chest is slowly getting full with bits and pieces so we've got 69 and 30 we'll remember that because the mobs don't spawn straight away we have to go up and get them activated a little bit more in fact what i've done is i've actually blocked off where's it gone to this bit here don't need that bit particularly we don't need to go up there but you see now we've got our first mob running around here and what we can do is we can just stand down here like this and after a while they'll come in here and they'll drop down into this hole um there we go hopefully it's going to fall in nope we didn't do this time so it's a two by two hole with some um signs so the signs just prevent the water dropping down and here we've just got one layer of actually i've got two layers of lava but i only need one layer of lava uh, unfortunately i ran out of glass so i made a bit of made it a bit unpretty and um, <clears throat> I actually managed to set the floor on fire which caused the death because I, they kept on dropping down right one's dropped down I think so we should see a maybe it's easier to see it from in here actually think like that they don't so 39 and 60 I think that was the same as before but what happens is they do drop down here they bounce up and down onto on the hoppers here and into the lava and the lava then kills them but the drops come out here so in fact all the resources were actually already here we've got the lava the glass i did had to make myself but you could use anything i suppose um and the planks are no problem because we had we've got plenty of wood around here anyway so i was going to wait for a few seconds but i don't think i'll bother so what i'm going to do now is go back and and leave this we don't need this at the moment we can take we can leave these with us here we, uh, leave this here so just to bit afking here and after a while we'll get some more but so right i'll see you in a minute when i'm back at base so you can see i've actually found a few interesting trees this enormous tree here um and there's another one quite large as well that's mahogany the other, this one is um i can't remember what his name is maybe it's hop seed or something like that we're gonna have a look at it in a second uh and the, the one on the left hand side is a um mahogany tree and the one on the right hand side is a palm this is hemlock so this is a hemlock tree and what i'm using this for this is not another sapling i found as well that was a, a rainbow eucalyptus sapling that's quite an interesting one i can tell you when that grows up is this thing and what i'm doing with this is basically just going up a bit no matter very far not very far maybe that high and then jumping off gives me a bit of damage so then i can eat so then i go and decide what i'm going to eat maybe i've shown you this before so i need protein so protein is then um soybeans i still eat some soybeans okay then i've now got st um, strength and nourishment because of this and if i eat some more fruit that should also give me some resistance so so that's how you do that's how i'm doing food I probably would have been sensible for taking my boots off when before i jump down so now there's a couple of things i would like to make first thing i would like to make is some to is a pan a cooking pot from croptopia and the second thing i want to make is a frying pan from croptopia i like this and with those we shall then be able to um let's put those into here make some more interesting dishes so for example one thing i'd like to do is have a look at the use of soybean so we can make some tofu so that's a one soybean one pan and some water let's just do that because that would be actually quite handy 
So there's two water here. Let's get two. We'll make two sets because we've got enough. And what happens is you'll notice you get a better return from the food. Not that it matters that much because we've actually got plenty. Well, let's just do it anyway. In fact, I probably can self-craft this as if, if I'm not mistaken. So that gives me one and a half, as it were, and this one gives me three plus that. And I'm hoping that with the same thing, and this takes damage, so it has uses. So it's now got 499 uses out of 500. So with that, we actually get just more of the same thing for the same crop. Maybe worth doing, I hope so anyway. So let's put those away now. I don't need these. There's probably plenty of protein and fat in here for a while. I've also got with me some raisins, which I probably don't need because I've got grapes. I never need these things. Uh, and I've got some more seeds down here. I so was just breaking some grass just coming along there. I've uh, got some extra seeds. These I'm just going to throw away because I don't have much uses for them. I can make some corn, and that's about it. This one here is a biome locator, which I found in a ship. Um, I was just doing some exploring and the biome locator t helps you a lot so for example here I was trying to find some savannah I haven't been there yet but it tells you it's very hard to see but it says it's found biome with savannah and the coordinates if I and then the distance so it's about a thousand blocks away and you just type in the biome you're looking for like jungle or mo and then you can just select that like that and you can then search for this one and then it'll tell you here, you can see that better now because it's, it's lighter. So it's 3,000 blocks away is the nearest jungle. In fact, we can do better than that. There is actually somewhere quite near on the way to the savannah, which we'll go and have a look at another time. So today I would like to, first of all, I would like to complete one quest. And the one I want to complete, not I want uh, fishing, don't I? I want leather. And I'm going to make a leather backpack. So let's have a look at that one. I think it's a backpack. Yes, so we need a frayed backpack, which is this one. So we need one chest and eight pieces of leather. That's not going to be too difficult. The chest will probably be miscellaneous. Yep. I'm not sure if it has to be a Minecraft chest or not. Let's just take one just in case it has to be. And then let's see if we can do this one. In fact, I think when well, I was just having a look there, it has. It doesn't matter which chest it is. Good, we'll take this one. So we can put that back. I did see it flash through there. So now we've got an achievement back, back beginnings. Um, where did that chest go to here? And then we'll have a look at the quest book. Oh, actually, uh, I found some charged quartz when I was looking at that so I get an unclaimed reward we'll get a wooden crank we'll claim that actually I'm not planning to do applied energistics just yet but we'll do that fairly soon let's go back up here so I have got one quest in storage which hasn't been completed so have a look at that one so I've got the backpack here and that will give me eight pieces of leather so let's claim that one and then let's do the next one. The next one's the iron backpack. So if we actually have a look at the quest book again, we can see that, in fact. So we've got an iron backpack. In fact, we'll go up to gold. But first of all, we'll have a look at the, the backpack, because you see how much stuff it's got in here. It's actually not very big. Where did that go to? I think that went into my bar somewhere, didn't it? There we go. I want to just open it out if I can. So we get one row of that one. So then, so then let's put some iron around it. I've got a reasonable amount of iron at the moment. Actually, I've got 46 on my inventory here, so let's use those. So have a look at this one now. So now this time we've got two rows. So with some gold, I'm not sure whether I've got gold. I've got five gold. Um, Let's just do some more. So we need eight. So let's do grind up some more. You notice you can jump over fences in this mod pack. It's got a mod that does that for you. So we'll grind up this, these two gold. And while that's grinding up, we're going to upgrade this uh, um, solar panel because it's a bit on the slow side. 
So in order to upgrade the solar panel, we're going to look at this one, the advanced solar panel. So we need basically some coal dust, which is just coal ground in the gr in the pulp in the grinder, glass. That's fairly straightforward. Two advanced circuits. So that's a standard circuit plus four redstone, two uh, glowstone dust, and two lapis. We've got the glowstone dust from the um, battle towers. So the rest is fairly straightforward. So we'll take just to craft up those. Can I do that? Yep. So then we should be able to make the solar panel tier two, except for we need this one. So we're just missing the basic solar panel. So while that's, what we'll do now is I'll just take these four here and put those into the electric furnace. While that's, oops, while that's working on, let's break the, let's just break the solar panel. Like that. And then we should be able to craft up this one. Oh, monk. Where am I? Let's just try that again. I need to be in the right bit. So we have a an advanced solar panel, which actually gives you four times as much power, but it's still a low tier machine. So let's just put this down. So now it's generating. And I just heard this actually, which one was it? Going up a little bit in terms of speed. In fact, we've got eight now, so that'll do. Take the ninth. So then we can craft this, the gold one. So let's have a look at the uses of this. Which has got one use. So to make the gold one. Thank you. So now we've got that achievement, and we should have now at least three quests completed, so, or two more completed. So we have. This one, which will give me cranberry seeds. Actually, that's quite a good one. Cranberry seeds are you can get, but you have to get them from um, Swampland. The, I have noticed that there are some which you have to get from different places. So here we've got this one here, backpack gold, and that will give me five, six tan leather. Like that. And I'm not sure what the tan level is useful. So look, useful. So we can then make a tan leather pouch or a tent bag. Uh, interesting, I'm not quite sure what the tent bag does, but, we're, but those are the only uses of those. In fact, we've actually got enough to make one of those items, both or either one of those two items. Well, it's night time, so I'll have a quick sleep and see you in a second. So, so let's have a look at this. Now we've got three rows, so it's actually a decent size. And what you can then do with this is you can simply right click and it should be able to put it in your, let's have a look. Shift click it into, and it just clicks it straight into your um, chest plate slot. And then you can open it up. Now let's have a look at what options are for opening this up because I've actually forgotten. I think it's something like B. Mini maps, jetpacks, open backpack is K. And that's actually clashing with something, but I'm not sure that'll make any difference. Let's press K. Yeah, sure enough, it opens the backpack, which is great. So I now basically got almost double the storage that I have currently. So the next one that would be diamond. I don't have any diamonds, which is great for exploring because I can tell you that it's a bit of a pain. Yeah, I'm always running out of space and I've got no other way to carry stuff at the moment. So we can put this leather back in here like that and we'll put the tan leather in here it's not really fishing but it is closely related to that one so and i want to let's go and plant one of these cranberry seeds i'm not planting more than one of any one at a time at the moment i'll just put it here and you'll see that i found some rhubarb uh some pineapple crop which is now mature i think so we can plant and get some pineapples in fact i think we can actually make a pineapple tree so if i look at the uses of this one no we can't make a pineapple tree but we can make pineapple pizza pepperoni <laughs> pepperoni pizza which is carbohydrates fruit and protein so that's actually a good one to have um but we need to make cheese and dough now dough's no big deal at all it says flour and water in this cooking pot flour is just two of different types of what can't but whole wheats I suppose um together see a corn um seeds or whatever you call those I've forgotten just gone out of my head anyway so we can do that we can make dough that's no big deal cheese 
let's have a look at the recipe for cheese so we need again the cooking pot and and a bucket bucket of milk and salt now the recipe for salt there's two different types we can go and find some rock salt from sandwiches um does it give me any more information than this one i can find some salt ore from croptopia which in fact is harder to find but it's actually a bit like clay so if you're looking for it clay and what else do we have from that one let's go back i'm pretty sure there's another recipe for this as it happens but i'm not seeing it at the moment so we can take some crushed salt dust which we can take from a salt or which gives you two and maybe that's a long way of doing it anyway that's a that's a different mod which i'm not going to just do mod i'm not going to do modern industrialization for the, for the next episode or two probably two episodes we'll start doing some of that so the next thing i'd like to do put this back like that in fact we can take one of these pineapples and make the seed out of that so we know we've got the seed grapes we've already got because they're here in this area so the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this into miss no ae2 would be a good place to put this wouldn't it the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make another machine from um so actually let's get the quest book it tells me what to do really doesn't it so let's go back out of here so the next one would be backpack we would be a diamond backpack um i haven't looked at the recipe for diamond pack but let's have a look at that one so that's four diamonds, four emeralds, and a gilded backpack. And then the next one up would be a blazing pack. Well, so, well actually, that's a bit hard. Netherite. <laughs> Not ready to get four netherite for the time being. And then you'd have an endless backpack with a dragon head. So that's a good trip to the end in order to get that one. So at the moment, we're just about finished in terms of backpack upgrades until we get lots of diamonds. And I'm not going to get the diamonds until I've got a little bit more xp one thing i have noticed and i don't know when anybody else is aware of this if you look at this now and i put my thing into here i get a level 30 enchant on here if i don't want a level 30 so all i need to do is put some carpet down around here like this and then if i look at this i go down to level five so i can actually reduce the fish uh, the in the enchant that i want on this particular thing so you get efficiency one efficiency one or efficiency one for just two xp um it's the dot 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 we don't all the ellipses really don't represent anything so that's a, i didn't know you could do that because that's a really quite an easy way to to um reduce the, the load of things when you when you're trying to enchant stuff so let's have a look oh yes next machine i was going to look at that wasn't i so let's go back here we could also could do some barrels, barreling it up, and we can also do some basically iron chests, I think this one is. Wood to iron upgrade, so we can upgrade a chest. And then we'll get a wood to iron upgrade and three ingots of iron. Not a bad thing to do. And the same for barrels. We would get a, an asparagus seed with Grotopia and an iron barrel when we've built one iron barrel. We'll do those another time, I think, because they're definitely good things to do. Um, of course, once we've got applied logistics and it all, dis all disappears. Technoborn, I've got one quest not claimed, which we want to have a look at anyway. So we've got the advanced one, which then gives me four steak uh, tacos plus three carbon meshes. Okay. <laughs> now, steak tacos are actually a really good high, um, a high protein and high carbohydrate food. So maybe I'll leave those up behind for the time being. And let's go back to the book and then have a look at the next things we can do so the next one along here is an extractor and then we have not sure it doesn't tell us so we shall make a do we get tons and ingots for making an extractor so let's make an extractor it's fairly straightforward and very handy in fact so let's have a look at this and have a look at the extractor recipe So it's just four tree traps, one basic machine frame, and one 
electronic circuits. I've already made I made four electronic circuits last time I made them. So tree taps are very straightforward. I'm actually keeping these here because that's an empty big torch, and I'm going to fill it with this lot. That'll give you a complete set of torch torches. In fact, it would probably be a good thing if I open the backpack and put that stuff into there like that because I don't need it taking my inventory. Um, in fact, for that matter, I'm going to put the food in that too. So let's put this food in here like this, and then I'll leave these in here. We'll keep this stuff in here, but we we'll probably don't need the cooking pot. We'll just put away for now, like this. I think that'll do for now. And maybe if I'll put these pineapples away. I don't need so much fruit at the moment. I've got plenty here anyway. Oh, meshes. They are from. Tecraborn, so we'll put those in the Tecraborn chest down here. Like that. So, right, so let's just make some tree taps. Spruce logs, it doesn't really matter which ones I use. I need some. Eight will do actually. Oh no, I need 16 pieces of wood, don't I? To do that. Because each one takes four, so basically, I can just do it like this. I'll do it like that. We need to need four sticks. We should find some of those in here. I've actually put my bow away in here because I've not been using that very much. Strange that I normally use a lot that's a lot in lots of mod packs, but the moment I haven't. Mainly because it was a bit of a disaster with fishing. Now in fact as it happens with fishing what do we want to do here? Like that, isn't it? And that'll give us the four tree taps the basic circuit I should have in here so one of those and we wanted one I think the machine frame would be yes basic machine frame and I should have the bits for that as well so let's just do that one I can finish this off now I can make two of those I'm gonna make two because it's always useful to have more than one it doesn't actually makes sense just to make one of anything these days so there we go so now we've got this extractor so we'll have completed that quest and we can also put this down here uh, and what this does of course as you remember from last time it does all sorts of handy bits and pieces what did I do with this so we can extract um, from here we can extract these. In fact, I've probably got one of my tools. If we've still got one that's actually got anything in three and 16. Let's just combine those two. We might get a full, a complete one if we do this. Yep. So you get actually a slight save on that. So when we just gonna get sap now like this, we can then put this through the extractor. And that should make double the amount of um, rubber if I'm not mistaken so while that's cooking up there let's have another look at the next recipe we want to make in here because we've completed that quest claim the reward 16 tungsten ingots and then the next one will be compress the rest and then we get three circuits from this one so we need a compressor so let's have a look at compressor it's coming to night time with very little risk except for one thing and that's um, phantoms. They can attack me when in this one. So there's different types of compressors. The one we want is an implosion compressor from Techroborn, fusion control computer from Techroborn. I um, because I typed in com computer, didn't I? So this is the one we want. So we want three iron plates, four stone, one machine frame, and one other. So we've got those two already. So we need to make some iron plates. I'll come back in in a second when it's daylight. Okay, so the importance, I might have to do some a bit of grinding in a minute because I've got two of them, I don't know, one of them's around. But they do become a bit irritating from time to time. But they can't get into here, which is nice. Um, so, right, slight distraction. So what we need to do is to make this compressor here. Now, the, these iron plates, we can compress them with the compressor. Well, obviously, that's pretty good. We can also, what's this one? This is the compressor from Industrial Revolution. Okay, so there's two different types of compressors. 
and the compressor all of them all of the main mods have got its own compressor but for, uh, for us to start with we need to make a, some iron double iron ingots so all we need to do for that is we need to hammer two ingots we'll make an, a double iron ingot and hammer that again so we need we needed six don't we for this let's go and hammer these so we should get these three what did I just do no mind that wasn't what I wanted to do at all so we need three of these plates in fact I probably can use those for something else to look yes I can grind them back again to other stuff from a macerator um, I don't suppose I can put that into the grinder by any chance can I no not doing anything if it was doing something by making noise oops that was not what I want to do okay so now we needed some stone didn't we four pieces of stone I should have stone already prepared anthracite stone can't see it off the top of my head it's probably here look there is a trick of course if you're not sure what you if you're not you want to find something you can look in here for example like this type in the word stone and double click it and then it goes yellow and the ones which are stone we've got stone in the name but so you can see this one's cobblestone rocky stone stone slabs smooth stone cobblestone you can take this one like that double click it again it goes off so we need to make that so we should be able to now make the compressor get rid of this there are a lot of stone items aren't there so the compressor is this one and I think I'm just missing the plate uh, the circuit which is in here good so let's make that up and now singularly impending so we can put this one at the back <laughs> like this I'm sort of running out of space from the solar panel but for the time being it'll be fine uh, that way and you can see this is going up so this time if I wanted to make an iron sheet like this I just put these into here and these would then compress into iron sheets and here we've got these six rubber from the extractor which we covered last time as it happens but you might have forgotten so this time we should just get a simple steel plate coming out or an iron plate coming out like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get <laughs> and I'll keep these in here for the time being these double ones it's only 13 ingots of iron and I've got a reasonable amount here look so it's not the end of the world so to speak let's put those down in here and have a look and if there's anything else we can do straight away so I want to have a look at the quest book down there really so we can claim the reward from that can we get three electronic circuits which is great because they're always a bit of a pain we should I'm not sure if they're telling me this what's this one here make it metal AF so what we need to do then is to make an alloy smelter this is another good one to do of course because um, alloy smelters provide you with alloys so we get a block of bronze from that so the alloy smelter let's have a look at doing that one not allow all alloy smelter there's two different ones but iron alloy furnace and an alloy smelter so that requires two electric furnaces um, okay so we do need probably th three circuit boards plus this one which is two iron furnaces which is this okay so right I'll prepare the bits and come back in a second right well I've made the electric furnaces already because I've already made those in the past um, the iron alloy furnace we haven't yet made but that needs another two iron furnaces so we are, at the end of the day you need four iron furnaces so we can make this one so now the last thing to do with the alloy smelter is this so you've got the, the circuit board which you actually got for free because we needed three in the end from the previous quest the, the alloy iron the iron alloy smelter and these two electric furnaces should then give us the alloy smelter and obviously it's a slight problem to connect these up at the moment so let's just make some more cables I've got, I've got enough rubber from those two 
and we'll just make these up. Uh, fire and actually it's three pieces of copper, isn't it? Oh, I'll just do it like this. It'll do fine. And what we can then do with these, we can just go underneath this machine in the bottom. Let's just do that. And this one. Okay, and we'll just put it down, say, in front here. Probably be the best place to put it anyway. Even though I've made up a bit more space than the one too. Sounds like it's coming up to night time because he's drinking his stuff again. So what we'll do is we'll just connect this down at the bottom like this and then bring it the cable here and then we can put on top of that the alloy smelter with a bit of luck. <laughs> yes, I've forgotten about it. I've got my, still got my whoopee cushion on. The power goes up in here so it's transferring the power through there. Um, so then with this alloy smelter we can start to make alloys and the one we can make is bronze. Was in, well, to start with there's bronze which is actually an important one. Let's have a look at the book again. I've actually run out of time now, but there is another thing I would like to do. And that's have a look at the uses of this. And from this, we can make an electric tree tap. But maybe we'll do that next time. Because um, I do need something else. So let's claim the reward for that and go back again. So this whole row is now being completed. You'll also notice it's got baby drills building blocks I feel bad for you which is what fusion coil okay we probably won't need to do that just yet and we get a leprechaun that. <laughs> what I'm looking for is some a battery they must have a battery and that, this one here with the centrifuge which we can't do yet that's a definitely high up we can certainly do drills oh yes here we've got the electric thing so we maybe we'll go through these tools at some stage what's this one here what I do need now is to make a charging station. What do we? A recycler. I don't think we can do that. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time we're going to go off and we are going to find a some savanna, and hopefully we can find a jungly area where we can get some more of these uh, crops. Because I would like to do a little bit more croptosis next time. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.